Well, every Sunday in March, Zingerman's Cornman Farms is transforming its farmhouse into a traditional pie and mash shop. And each Sunday, there's a different featured filling. And right now, I'd like to welcome the owner and the executive chef of Zingerman's Cornman Farms, Kieran Hales. And thank you so much for coming in this hey, morning. Hey, it's fun. I got to make pie last night with my boys. So it's a great thing. <laughs> and you, you got to show me everything you're doing here. But, um, you know, I'm not too familiar with, with Cornman Farms. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what you guys are doing every yeah, Sunday? Yeah, for sure. So it's a historical uh, destination. It was built in 1834. We renovated it back in 2014. And so mostly what we do out there is have weddings. But uh, this Sunday and then six, uh, five more Sundays, so six in total, we're opening up as a publicly ticketed event. We kind of did it a few years back to get people to come see us and interact with us. And now we do like 230, 250 oh pies gosh. a weekend. So the pie it's, it's beautiful, too, I have to say, because I was on your website, too. I haven't been it's there a pretty, yet, but I mean, it's a place. beautiful, beautiful venue. So yep. this is kind of a special treat that if you're not getting married, you can come check out the place still. For sure. And uh, you guys are doing pie. What do you, what'd you bring in to make for us today? So this is not this week's, but the weeks after. It's chicken tikka masala. So as okay. a Brit, uh, strangely, curry is more popular than fish and chips. And so we've fallen in love with our curry mix. And so for us, we're going to make a little batch of it. So we've got some shallots sauteing down. Uh, we're going to add a spice mix. It's got eight different spices, cumin, coriander, paprika. Okay. And what we do is we use one of those like $20 little coffee grinders to grind it up all really fine. We're going to add that in there and toast those up. Okay. Once those are toasted, we're going to be adding our chopped tomatoes in there. So these were canned from the farm earlier in the season last year. So onion spices, tomatoes. Yep, we got some garlic going in there. We got some chicken stock, and it wouldn't be British if we weren't putting a lot of fat in it. So we're going to add a whole bunch of cream in there as well. And so that stews down for about 10 minutes. This and stuff already smells great. And so for the magic of TV, 10 minutes later, it, it will is. look just like this. Okay, uh, yeah, check it out. So we've got all the spices in there, the tomato sauce. We're going to add a little bit of cilantro in there. Mm -hmm. So we've got a nice flavor of that. And then the chicken. So we like to say that it takes like three days to prepare any of these pies. And so this chicken was marinated for 24 hours, roasted this morning, and then we're going to add it to our pie You like sauce. to say, or it does take it that does long. It does take you, three days. these Sundays, I mean, you were saying, it takes a long time. To yeah, so we have started Sundays. the braised red cabbage for this Sunday two days ago. It was on the stove last night. It was in the oven first thing this morning. I pulled it out when I popped into the uh, farm this morning. Your house must smell really good. It's a pretty good place to be. My boys <laughs> eat pretty good every day in that place. So once it's uh, made, we're going to let it cool down for a whole nother day so all those flavors infused okay. and then we're going to fill in our pie shell so once we filled in our pie shell we're going to do a little seal and crimp on the top of it so what we'll do is a little dust of water and so usually they'd have them on a big sink and they just spray it with water over the top okay and you put it right over the top and you form a little crown so the british ones back home are more of a plain jane one we like it to make them look more like a crown um, and this is a pie that can easily fill two people. Once you try it, you're probably not going to go share with anyone. Okay, and we've got studio. about 20 seconds left. So this is the you finished dig product. You right? dig in, and I this, can give you a little bit more. Your, did you say your son made this? My son crimped the tops of those Are you last kidding night. Me? So yeah. Uh, re real quick. So every Sunday through the month of March, and it's 4:30 to 7 p.m. How can people? Uh, um, get uh, reservations. Yeah, so if you go to Coleman Farms, there's a little pop-up that will come up there and send you uh, straight to our shop. And you want to pre-order because we sell out every weekend. Well, Easily. good luck. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, and enjoy. Your son is a way better <laughs> chef than I'll ever be. There you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.